Secret Santa 2012. Mix 107.5 and you. Making a difference. I was really excited going into this one because mm. I knew what was happening. Yes. Very, very, very few people knew what was happening. Mm-hmm. And I'm very excited to hear this one because I haven't heard it yet. Yeah. When we say very few people, we mean you and I and my wife uh-huh. by default. Uh-huh. Uh, and, knew, and my wife. And, and your wife knew about this delivery. And um, the fact of the matter is, guys, uh, with Secret Santa, there are some families I mean, all of the families deserve the visit. I mean, the families we we visit when we drop off your generous donation of a Christmas, they're all in dire straits. Sure. They really are. And some families just epitomize what Secret Santa is all about. Good, hardworking, loving families that are going through situations that no family should have to go through. We've said it a few times this morning. It's tough after as many years as we've been uh, doing this. We've done the math. Uh, To date, we've delivered 103 Secret Santa Christmases. Still three left to go to deliver this year. Still uh, seven or eight left to play on Mm -hmm. the radio for you. It's tough to come up with a Secret Santa first. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, that's the first time we've done that. It was a surprise to the family, obviously. Mm. It was a surprise to 98% of the people who were along on the delivery. And it was kind of fun for us. And it was kind of fun. We, we seldom get to surprise our Secret Santa elves right. with anything. And they're such hard workers. Yes, they are. I mean, all the firefighters, Baca, our head elf, and Steve Garcia, and, and Booth, and Biscuits, and so all those guys. They work so hard, and uh, so it was fun. I, I will say, and we're going to read the letter here in, in just a second. Guys, I promise you, you won't find someone who seems to be, um, how do you put this, uh, more sick? Yeah, the lady was than, sick. I'm very sick. You could tell very just, sick. just from looking at her. I mean. And uh, and man, when we walked in, dad was right there by her side. Mm-hmm. And we have talked to people who said, dad has been right there by her side. He's not leaving her side. And she's really really sick and uh and it's tough when you walk into those situations to bring the merry you know i mean does that make sense to bring the merry christmas um but at the same time it's very uplifting to know that you guys you've done that you've made the memory uh memory for this family and uh, let's read the letter. And let's just throw out the word uh, of caution here. For you to get the full enjoyment from this Secret Santa playback, mm-hmm. you're going to have to listen through all the way to the end. Right. And so if you don't have time now to listen through all the way to the end, we suggest you don't even start. And wait till you get to work mm-hmm. <laughs> and listen to it online. <laughs> your boss won't mind. We'll give 10 minutes of your boss's time. Yeah. That's cool. But we'll have it online for you as well shortly after we play it here on the radio. But truly, to get the full effect... And the surprise of this secret Santa and the joy that was brought to this family by you guys. You need to listen all the way through to the end. The letter that came in for this family reads, Dear Rooney and Moon, This family has been through a very rough time over the past six months. Mom had a life-threatening surgery in August. Since then, she has experienced major complications. After the surgery, she was in ICU at UMC in Lubbock, Texas for over four weeks fighting for her life. Spent well over six weeks in all in the hospital. Because of complications, she now has to have home health care and has been in and out of the hospital and ICU ever since. With this medical condition, they have incurred well over $400,000 worth of medical bills. Not counting the expense of travel, meals, hotel for the family to stay close by their mom and wife. The one son is a senior in high school. Another son, a sophomore in high school. And they were fine young men, too. They really were. Yep. They really were. Uh, The one met us at the door. You'll hear that in just a moment. The boys have not been able to have any real quality time with their parents over the last four months because of the medical attention mom needs. They've had their lives turned upside down. As we all know, having children who are seniors in high school is a bittersweet time. We watch them grow into adults to step out into the world. Because of this illness, mom and dad have missed out on half of their son's senior year. And that's true. I had a senior last year. So much happens in that last year. Hmm. I nominate this family for Secret Santa. She followed up in a letter the nominator, Chelsea, 
followed up uh, in a letter that mom has been in and out of the hospital since August due to a major surgery. She almost lost her life twice and has had countless other issues stemming from the surgery. She's been home for only two days since her last trip to the hospital in Lubbock. In and out of the hospital. Uh, Talked to one of the boys afterwards. He said that uh, they had to literally pry dad out of the hospital room to get him to go back to the hotel just to take a shower. Yeah. Because he just didn't want to leave her side. (laughs) That's the kind of family that deserves a Secret Santa visit. Let me tell you. When, and I hope you do, when you watch this, Mm -hmm. uh, when you check this out on our website later and you see all the pictures, there are a couple of pictures of the dad when a certain something happens Mm. that will just squeeze your heart, man. If you're a dad. If you're a dad. You get it. You get it, yeah. You get it. This family was uh, shopped for by Clisty and Beverly. And this past weekend, Saturday, as a matter of fact, in the middle of the day, Secret Santa paid them a visit. Secret Santa 2012 continues. Uh, again, not sure when this is going to play back, but we're down in Portales for our deliveries today. We are going now to the second house on the same street, and we had to pass this house to get to a delivery we did a short while ago. Yeah, so we're hoping that they didn't notice us coming up the street. It's tough not to do. And uh, Duffy, pretty pumped up about this one. Yeah, this will be a Secret Santa first for us, and uh, we're really excited. You'll see why here in just a few minutes. We are back on. It's funny. We've made this trip before. We know exactly where we're going. That's a secret set. And a first in and of itself. <laughs> we know exactly where we're going, exactly how to get there. And we will be there in mere moments. And uh, like we said before, there are just a ton of cars behind us. A huge caravan of people as we make our way to this secret Santa delivery. So cool to see. Continuing down the road here, and uh, we just wanted to make sure that all of the vehicles are in behind us. They are. And uh, as we turn in here, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. We're turning in right here. And uh, we believe it's this one right here on the corner, based on what we've been told. And uh, looking for an address just to be on the safe. Yes, it looks like this is the one here. So let's get in here and let's see what happens. Okay, we're all getting out here. Here we go. Make sure we have everybody have all of our elves. All right. Here we go, Steve. All right, let's go knock on the door and make a big old memory. That's what we're hoping to do. Oh, there's somebody already at the door. <laughs> Beat us to it. Hello. How you doing, partner? I'm good. I'm Terry. Can we uh, jump in your house? Is that okay? Sure, come on. Okay, cool. Wow, he said yes right away. Excellent. Come on. <laughs> Didn't even ask. Kyle, oh, my God. How's it going? Who do we need to talk to? Where's There she is. I'm going to come around over this way, if I may, okay, and come over here. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Uh, is it okay if I come sit by you? We are uh, Rooney and Moon from Mix 107.5 Radio, and um, we do a program on our station every year that we call Secret Santa, where we look for families that are going through a tough time, and we bring them Christmas, and your family was nominated, and ma'am, is it okay if we bring Christmas for you guys? Yes. Appreciate it. We're happy to do it. Is this your husband, this big, handsome fellow over here? Yeah. <laughs> come over here. How are you doing, sir? Doing good, sir. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. We appreciate you letting us invade your home with all this, okay? It's fine. <laughs> well, let's tell you guys what's going on here. I'm going to sneak right back in here and tell you guys what's going on. Uh, well, Mom, can you kind of tell us what's been going on? I see that you're sitting here on the couch and uh, you have oxygen going. Uh, what's been going on with you? I've been in a hospital. I had my whole large colon removed, and since then it's been yucky. I'll bet. I'll bet. Dad, how's it been for, for you and the kid? It's been trying. We She was in the hospital. They did the surgery on August 1st. She was on the ventilator for 21 days, and we honestly didn't think we was bringing her home. She came home first part of September, and since then it's been in and out of the hospital back and forth. And, uh, how are the boys holding up with all that? The boys are actually holding up pretty good. I've got... A brother and a niece and nephew-in-law that have been stepping in. Babysitters. <laughs> so they've been pretty helpful. They've been doing great jobs with them while we're gone. Well, let us uh, tell you what we have for you guys here, okay? Uh, what we have for you is a bunch of gifts that have been shopped for the whole family, and so that's for you guys. We have Christmas dinner for you guys, courtesy of SNS Supermarket. The Rib Crib up in Clovis has donated the turkey for you guys. We have decorations for uh, for the entire house, all that's been put together by Lowe's, Dillard's, Walmart, and Clovis Floral. Carpet Tech has a tree for you guys as well, okay? And we just want you guys to have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. 
thank y'all very much. If it hadn't been for this, they wouldn't have had, we wouldn't have had a Christmas this year. Something tells me that your boys would have been okay with that as well. I, I believe so, because as long as they got mom, they'll be okay. And How are we looking, elves? Looking good. Good. All right, guys. Well, we have uh, one final gift for you guys. We'd like to help out, and uh, we worked uh, actually with Chelsea. Where's Chelsea? Hi. We worked with Chelsea. Chelsea's the one that nominated your family, and we tried to figure out what would be the most help for you guys this Christmas. And uh, on behalf of the listeners of Mix 107.5 Radio, we'd like to give you $1,000 in cash. Thank you. you. Put that to good use, Dad. That will be very well used. Thank you all very much. Merry Christmas to you guys. Thank you. Just real quick, before we wrap up, um, we understand that uh, that you guys don't just have two boys. You have three boys, right? Yes, sir. My oldest boy is in the military and stationed in Minot, North Dakota. You guys talk to him on Skype? Yes, sir. And uh, a grandbaby as well, Mom? Yeah, he was here in August, but I didn't get to see him. Hmm. What we'd like to do is, uh, if you'll look over this way... uh, Christmas isn't Christmas unless the whole family's here. So uh, we flew your son and your grandbaby in to come see you. Okay. That's my. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Dad. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Let's get that grandbaby over here. <laughs> Let's say we sing this family a Christmas carol right quick, okay? Which one are we going to do, Stephen? Here we go. Jingle bells on three. One, two, three. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! All right! Merry Christmas, young man. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas to you, too. Dad, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Stephen, Merry Christmas. Thanks for flying all the way in from Minot. Thank you guys very much. And Mom, I'm going to do my best to get over here. Merry Christmas to you. You have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. Where are you, Christmas? Why can't I find you? Why have you gone away? Where is the laughter you used to bring? Why can't I hear music play? I said, okay, if we bring Christmas for you guys? Yes. Appreciate it. My world is changing. I'm rearranging. Does that mean Christmas changes to I've been in a hospital. I had my whole large colon removed and since then it's been yucky where are you christmas do you remember the one you used to know dad how's it been for for you and the kid it's been trying we she was in the hospital they did the surgery on august 1st Who's on the ventilator for 21 days, and we honestly didn't think was bringing her home. She came home first part of September, and since then it's been in and out of the hospital, back and forth. As long as they got mom, they'll be okay. On behalf of the listeners of Mix 107.5 Radio, we'd like to give you $1,000 in cash. Thank you. That will be very well used. Thank you all very much. You will feel like Christmas all the time. And uh, a grandbaby as well, Mom? Yeah, he was here in August, but I didn't get to see him. <laughs> we flew your son and your grandbaby in to come see you. <laughs> Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Dad. Thank you all very much. (laughs) We 
just want you guys to have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank y'all very much. If it hadn't been for this, they wouldn't have had, we wouldn't have had a Christmas this year. Where are you Christmas? Fill your heart with love. Merry Christmas, young man. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas to you too. Dad, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Mom, Merry Christmas to you. You have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. Before we move along here on the uh, show, Graham, and uh, this one was emotional for Duffy and I because we worked so hard on it. Worked so hard on it. Just want to point out to you guys what you did as part of Secret Santa. I don't think I'm giving anything away here when I repeat that this mom is sick. Yes. Okay. Very sick. You you heard the dad talking about it there. He, He didn't know if they were going to be able to get it home. What you guys did through your generosity was you flew her son, who's in the Air Force, at Minot, and her daughter-in-law and her grandbaby from there to here for a little pre-Christmas visit. That's what you guys did. So the next time you wonder, man, what happens? What happens behind the scenes? What Secret Santa, what's it about? Right there, giving a sick mom the gift of her son and grandbaby and daughter-in-law for the weekend. That, my friends, is Secret Santa. Happy holidays from Mix 107.